Copyright applies to the following verbal and written content. With the exception of the content owner, complete content excerpts and links may be used for nonprofit purposes only, provided that full and clear credit is given to the following names wherein Diary Single Woman, Diary of a Single Woman, and Miss Anonymous. Appropriate and specific direction to the original content must be used. All rights are reserved. Hi, this is Miss Anonymous with Diary of a Single Woman with an unscripted video for my new novel, Fifty Shades of Red, Chapter 9, Part 2. So, let's talk about the four girlfriends that Ethan has. Okay, so some of you out there will probably think that's a little over the top. It's a little bizarre. But I guarantee you there are some fellas out there and maybe some ladies out there who totally get it. Like, all right, let's just talk about having multiple relationships at one time. Um, I decided to write this into the chapter because mm, I just thought it would be interesting, right? I wanted to show that Ethan is this... Um, now, I'm going to say all these names about him, and then I'm going to talk about myself. So, this chauvinistic type of guy, selfish guy, who wants all these women in his life, and he wants to use these women as he pleases, whatever. he. I think I mentioned he, brings, um, he was bringing the girlfriends to different events based on who he thought would best <laughs> fit the event, things like that, right? So... I wanted to throw that in there and I wanted to throw it in so that Kiva would be surprised. Like, I mean, I think any woman, honestly, any, anybody, right? Any person, when you first hear that, if you're not accustomed to that, you would be like, what? Are you serious? Like, okay. <laughs> like, okay. This is just a bit much. So I wrote that in, but you know what? I don't think it's unrealistic. I will talk about myself. Um... I used to have multiple relationships at one time. Yes, I did. I think I don't think I had four boyfriends at one time. I think I was managing three boyfriends at one time. Yeah, three. And let me tell you, it was chaotic. It was chaotic. Um, I've, I think I did that a few times. I used to have like two boyfriends, three boyfriends. But the thing was, none of them knew about each other. So in this story um, with, with um, Fifty Shades of Red... Well, Ethan's girlfriends all knew about each other. That's a whole different story. Oh my God. I, I even see now, now you, oh my God. I even have a story for that. Okay. I'll, listen, sit back, relax. This one might be a long one. This unscripted video. If you're listening, lucky, lucky you. This might be a long one. Okay. I'm going to come back to my situation of having multiple boyfriends, but I'm going to jump back to the situation where where the where the 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 people know about each other <laughs> so I did date this one guy god and I really liked him a lot he was so smart sexy mm, sex was good all of that and when I dated him it was just him and I and in talking with him that's when I found out about his lifestyle so maybe subconsciously I kind of grabbed on this experience it sounds like right so he started telling me that, okay, what was his situation? He had two, two girlfriends. And I remember him telling me that, um, they all lived together. Okay. All right. And so, I mean, he explained it all to me, basically what would happen. They lived in the same place together. Um, they all slept in the same bed. Um, uh, you know, I guess they would have sex, some of them, all, you know, of course, all at the same time. When it came time to doing the things around the house or whatever, each one had their responsibility, things like that. And I, I was just like, what? I mean, I didn't, I was just sitting there listening, like what? And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I sure hope he doesn't think that he's about to bring me into any type of situation that I'm going to be a part of no one or two other people. No. And I didn't, by the way, I did not. But I just want to bring reality out there that 
this type of things happen th these types of things happen and i'm not knocking it these are just choices and lifestyles that maybe people choose maybe we don't understand it but it's out there and so i decided to write it into the story now back to myself when i had multiple relationships and no they did not know about each other but often i i will say gosh ladies i'm just being real i'm gonna be selfish for a minute wouldn't it be nice to have two boyfriends one of them you know cuts the grass and takes care of the house and the other one does whatever he needs to do and oh my god you know sexually i'm just saying i'm just being really 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 selfish right now but long story short you know having multiple relationships um it's time consuming it really is <laughs> i it was very time consuming i mean at one point I had to keep up like, okay, who am I going out with on this day? And what did I say to this person? So it got to a point where I was just like, you know what? I can't, I can't do this. I think I was doing, I was managing three relationships. I couldn't do it. It was too much. I couldn't keep up. Uh, I was busy all the time. I mean, I had, I mean, just totally busy. So anyways, back to the story. Um, let's find out if Kiva is going to sign the agreement. Um, let's see who knows who knows what the agreement even says but I well I know what the agreement says you don't know and I've already written already the next couple of chapters so I already know what's going to happen but I don't want to spoil it let's see if Kiva is going to sign this thing or maybe she's going to have a change of mind and I'm going to throw a monkey wrench out there maybe she's going to have a change of mind and just just find out like you know what this lifestyle is not for her but anyways i hope that you enjoyed the chapter i tried to bring an element of um of a, a something that's down to earth with the buffalo wings and beer and watching tv you know bring an element that that is relatable even though i'm talking about ethan who is this wealthy guy and um but still there's elements that i think everybody can relate to so i hope that you are enjoying the chapter i look forward to seeing you at chapter 10 part one to see if kiva signs the agreement okay I, okay listen i will just say this since you're listening you are so lucky if you're listening to this unscripted video that you did not skip this unscripted video and just you know went directly to the next chapter if Kiva signs this agreement, holy shit. That's all I can say. That's, I mean, it, it, that's all I can say. Then the following chapter after chapter 10, part one, which will be chapter 10, part two. Holy shit. <laughs> I hope you, I'm, I'm just saying if, if, if she signs it, that's all I can say. Anyways, enjoy the story and I will see you at uh, the upload of Chapter 10, Part 1. This is Miss Anonymous. <laughs>